Hey friends, I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of all the Halloween decorations in our house. Um, my daughter Hannah loves Halloween and last year and this year, she made over the mantle and the mantle set the stage for the rest of the room. So we just implemented small touches here and there um, around the rest of the room and I thought you might like to see it. So if you missed last week's video, um, I will put a link to it in the description, but it's a breakdown of the whole mantle, where the inspiration and the color scheme came from, and all those details. But I'll show you a glimpse of it here, um, but definitely go back and check that out at the end. So, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start on the mantle, because that's where it all began. The whole story behind this home tour began with this printable right here. My daughter Hannah made this for our Etsy shop, and this is where we pulled all of the color scheme and the theme of retro vintage Halloween. Okay, so next we added a few decorations to our coffee table. Um, simple decorations like faux and real pumpkins and candles. And that's basically all we did was just throw some pumpkins, pumpkins in the bowl to give it that autumn fall vibe and a real pumpkin on these books. Okay, so to balance out the room on the end tables, we added a few Halloween decorations. We added these really cute stacked jack-o'-lanterns that have the most adorable witch's hat on the top. I mean, isn't this cute? And all we did was sit it on some books and we left the rest of the table open for drinks or for your reading material or anything you are working on. Over on this coffee table, I already had this Happy Halloween Beastle um, print, and I found it while on a trip up in Georgia one time, and it was exactly the same style as the printable. So we added him to this table, it, and then we added this jack-o'-lantern here, who also lights up. Okay, so over underneath my television, we added this fun jack-o'-lantern who has the biggest mouth. I mean, look at him, isn't he funny? But let me tell you, I had a lot more candy on this um, piece of furniture before my nieces came, and I would say probably two times more the candy. So they had so much fun, they ate all the candy, we used some kind of retro themed candies like these with the cartoons from long ago, um, Suckers and Hershey's. And 
And then last, I wanted to add one more little touch of Halloween in my entryway. And all I did was put this ceramic ghost and jack-o'-lantern that lights up. Um, I made this a very, very long time ago, probably about 30 years ago. And he actually has a light, like a um, night light in the back and a switch. So you can turn him on and off here. Um, and he doesn't always go with my decor, but this year he went perfect. So I decided to add him and keep my fall leaves on this table and books and a candle. Okay, so then on my table, in my, this is our informal table in the living room. We um, added these cute little vintage ghosts, which I thought was nice, a nice repetition to the ghosts that are on the hearth. And these are actually my sisters, so all I did was sit some little pumpkins around them and then just put these ghosts on here. So also in my dining area, I added this cute little pumpkin to my bookcases. So I found this while thrifting at Goodwill and it was a candle that had burned way down to the bottom. So I froze the candle inside in my freezer, popped it out, and now I have a battery powered candle inside. So now that you've seen all the pieces of the room, here's how it looks all put together. Okay, so that's basically all the other decorations for Halloween. They're simple, they're easy, they don't take up all your living space. They're just small touches here and there to give your home a little bit of a Halloween vibe, except for the mantle. The mantle was the focal point in our room. So we went all out on the mantle and then sprinkled little things in the room that coordinated with the mantle. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I thank you so much for joining me here. I hope you'll come back and join me again next Sunday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.